I was actually working a shift at Subway and we went through uh, the rush hour and we had noticed throughout the week that I had started getting um, what we thought were freckles on my leg. I go sit down, I put my leg up and my entire leg is completely red. And I remember my wife going, we gotta get you to the doctor, that rash that he talked about <clears throat> isn't right. We need to get it fixed and looked at. Sabrina took him to the emergency room. Sabrina calls me and I knew it was bad. 98% of my blood was then cancer. We were rushed into surgery the next day to put the, the, the tubes in my chest and started treatment the day after that. Never forget pulling up to the children's and there was a team of doctors waiting on us. So it, the, the gravity of the situation was unbelievable. If I didn't start the treatment then, I would have been basically gone in a month, so. When your child is diagnosed with cancer, first of all, you, you know, you're supposed to, you know, not outlive your kid, right? So you think cancer, the big C word, it ain't good. And it's when you start to realize who's important in your life is those people that really care, your family and your close friends. And that became our, our community, right? Um, that's how we got through it. My brother was diagnosed when I was in sixth grade. And one of the first things he said to me was, I'm really glad it was me that had cancer and not you because I wouldn't want you to lose all of your beautiful red hair. And I just remember going, I'm gonna do whatever I can to be by his side and help him get through this. For me, I quickly took the motto of live for today, fight for tomorrow, uh, and just kind of took every day for what it was. My son was cancer free. I had just got this promotion to run a, a global organization for a high tech company. My life was good. Um, I had a knot on my neck. My wife was trying to get me to the doctor. I, I was one of those guys who didn't go to the doctors, even though I'd seen my son go through what he had gone through. I finally went and had this knot biopsy. And that's when the doctor told me that, you know, I was positive for uh, squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, and I had, uh, I had cancer, throat cancer. And my world just stopped. Between going through it, I felt like I had some control. Having to sit back and watch somebody else do it was the hardest thing I've ever like experienced. Um, especially with, like I said, it's my dad. It's you know, it's the guy who I idolize. It's who I want to be. Yeah, it was it was tough. It was real tough. That was tough, but I had I had somebody that I could look to uh, that had gone through it before that inspired me to just should put my head down and go. And that's what I did. And uh, here I am 10 years later, cancer free. It's not something typically father and sons <laughs> share in common, but uh, both of us had to go through the radiation treatments. We call them our badges of honor. Turn on the radio and they were advertising this bike ride to eliminate cancer, and it was on my son's anniversary date. And so I go, oh my goodness, this is karma. I gotta do it. I always say that it's a dream job because I'm working to raise money for the two hospitals that saved my brother and dad's life. I definitely ride for this guy. He's the one that got me going in it, but um, as a childhood cancer, uh, survivor and being on the older end of the spectrum. Um, I sat next to a lot of five-year-olds when I was getting my treatment and I do it for them but also for my nieces and nephews. I ride for Derek. I mean uh, this kid's inspired me. When I'm out on training rides and, and I'm feeling like I can't can't do anymore, I just think about what this guy went through and uh, I just get motivated. Children's Hospital and Siteman barns, they saved our lives, right? And that's because there was research. We got the leading, bleeding edge research facilities and hospitals here in town. 
and anybody that we can keep from going down the cancer road and affecting the family like it affected our family is a wonderful